Hey, what's going on guys, it's Tubbs here, welcome back to another GT6 video, and this is the start of a new series that's uh, coming up on my channel very soon. Uh, I'm going to keep this as the first episode, just because it is sort of a review, uh, but basically, what I'm going to be doing in this series, I'm going to review the cars, or test drive them, uh, around a certain track, uh, as an actual track car, not as a drift car, not as a drag car, uh, more of a track car, like, is it a good track car, um, is it good for, for racing, um, basically, I'm gonna discuss all of that in in one of these videos. So I sort of want to change the the title to something a little bit better, but I don't really know what to call this series. Uh, and also, I'm gonna change the thumbnail. And uh, for the future episodes, I also want to uh, have a little bit more editing done to the videos. But for right now, I want to keep it nice and simple, just because I want your guys' suggestions on how I can make this a little bit better. Um, you know, for the future episodes. So leave those down in the comments below, just so you guys can help me out with the series, because. Uh, um, basically, this series is because of you guys. A few of you have asked me to uh, to make sort of a series on test driving normal cars or stock cars around the track. Uh, you know, for for like actual track racing, like grip racing, uh, and not drifting and drag racing and stuff like that, but like actual grip racing, and uh, pretty much just give my opinion and is it worth buying that actual car? Um, so yeah. For the very first episode here, I'm going to be reviewing the Bugatti Veyron, uh, and I took it out on a Scarry, and as you can probably tell already, um, it's not the best driving car. Now, uh, from Gran Turismo 5, I already knew that this thing wasn't going to be good around the track, but this is my second time going around this track. The very first time, I literally went off on the very first corner. Before I even started the race, I was like, really? Um, I had to break that early. The majority of the time I was around this track, I was pretty much thinking about the episode of Top Gear, when Clarkson drove this thing, uh, and he said that you basically have to anticipate so far ahead of you before you actually put your foot down and accelerate. Uh, and it's sort of weird because this isn't really, uh, you know, real life, it's obviously a video game. But it sort of is the same thing in the video game as well. So, uh, when you go into a corner, it, you have to go in so slow because uh, it has barely any grip. Um, it's a super, super heavy car, I think it weighs 1.8 tons. So it's a very, 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 very heavy car, uh, and even though it does have a thousand horsepower, <laughs> it's really good in a straight line. Now, when Volkswagen built this, they didn't try to make this as like the pe the best you know track car in the world. They wanted this to have the highest top speed in the world, and that's what they that's what they went for. They didn't go for this being you know one of the best handling cars in the world in the world, which of course it isn't, as I'm saying in this video. So when you go into a corner, you have to take it really, really slow. Uh, usually, when you have your um, your, you know, your heads up display and all that stuff comes up on the screen. Uh, at the bottom right, you sh you have like the suggested gear that you should be going around that corner. So keep that on at all times when you're driving this thing because it's it's just insane. Unless you like obviously know how to drive this car properly, um, which so far I can't really drive it properly, but uh, because I haven't gotten a grip on it. But uh, when you're starting off to drive this thing, keep the suggested gear on because you know for the majority of the corners around this track, I'm literally thinking to myself. Uh, really, I had to slow down so far be before that corner, um, so yeah, you have to slow down a lot before the corner because when you turn in, there's like absolutely no grip whatsoever. Uh, for some of these corners, I was also thinking that uh, it'd be probably easier to go around them sideways where you're gonna see me like floor it in some of these uh, corners just so I can try to get the back out a little bit, so I can point the nose in a little bit more. Um, it's it sort of works, but uh, you also get a little bit of understeer sometimes, which uh, which also can can mess you up a little bit. So um, this thing is a very unpredictable car. It has way too much power for for an actual track car, and it's way 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 too heavy. So um, also another thing, you're gonna need some stiffer suspension because the car rolls about uh, a good bit, which also brings me to the tires. Uh, because the car rolls a bunch and the tires are really really slippy, uh, basically you're gonna get a lot of understeer. So uh, better tires, better suspension, uh, of course, it's gonna help this out a lot, and, uh, right now it's on sports hard tires, and, you know, it slides around like, like mad, but, uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, and hopefully that made your mind up if you guys want to buy this thing or not, uh, but, uh, I want to improve on what I'm gonna be talking about in these videos as well, so, again, leave your suggestions down in the comments below on, uh, on, on your thoughts on these, uh, on these sort of videos, and, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later.